Hi, I'm Stephen Kajura. I'm an associate professor here in the Department of Biological Sciences at Florida Atlantic University. The sort of work that we do here at FAU sort of integrates comparative anatomy with sensory biology. And we're able to ask some really interesting questions about how the, the shape and form of an animal really dictates what information it receives about its environment. Maybe this is best understood by way of an example. If you look at something like a, a hammerhead shark, you've got a really weird, unusual sort of head shape. And we can ask the question, how does that strange head shape really dictate what information that animal receives about the environment around it? The eyes are way off on the ends of the head. What does it actually see? The nostrils are very far apart. Does that confer any sort of advantage in terms of localizing uh, prey odors? And so by comparing species with very different head shapes, a hammerhead compared to a more pointed nosed requiem shark, we're able to address questions about uh, integrating sensory physiology with the anatomy of the animal. I think this research is particularly important because it gives us an opportunity to address some really interesting evolutionary questions. By having the ability to compare closely related but anatomically very dissimilar organisms, we're able to get at the, the fundamental root, the evolutionary reason why you have these unusual structures arising in the first place, and actually test some of these hypotheses by bringing the animals into the lab, running the experiments, and seeing whether one sort of anatomy is better than another. FAU is an excellent location for this sort of research because of several factors. One is our close proximity to a diverse marine ecosystems. We're not too far from the Florida Keys to the south, we're not too far from the Indian River Lagoon to the north. Secondly, we have excellent facilities to hold animals. We have uh, a lab set up, the FAU Marine Lab here, we're able to hold large animals in large outdoor holding tanks and then run them into the lab to run experiments and then let them go back into the environment again. And thirdly, we have a large core of students who are very interested in this sort of research. A lot of the students who grew up around here have grown up in close association with the water and have a natural affinity for it. And so many of the students here are very interested in the sort of work that we do. These factors all combine to make FAU an excellent place to do this sort of marine research.